The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We're excited to have you here at our introduction for resellers, bars, MSPs, solution providers, agents, advisors, and, you know, all of you on the call today. We're What I'm so excited about this webinar is it introduces you, those new resellers to SASMAX and those who are thinking about joining SASMAX to how to grow your business by adding channel-friendly SAS solutions to your line card. Um, I'm Laura Stewart. I am your host for the show today and I will be guiding you through the webinar. Clint Gatewood will be our presenter today. A couple of housekeeping issues. Any questions that you have, please type them in the question pane. We will be answering them at the end of the webinar. If you have any issues or problems with your audio or your visuals or just any other questions um, not for the presenter, just type them in the chat window. I'll be here monitoring it all and let's get started. If I can get my screen to move, we can do that. Okay, so the agenda for today, we're gonna to talk about the opportunity for SAS and SASMAX, we're known as WISE SAS. We're gonna talk a lot about that. How we vet our vendor channel programs, the matchmaking, concierge service, stacking, bundling, and layering. Then we're gonna talk about our unique, one-of-a-kind e-commerce platform that you're gonna to get to help you drive more revenue for yourself. Some of the other webinars that we're doing, we have this Crossing the SASM educational programs and introduce you to your SASMAX partner success team. Your host for today is Clint Gatewood, Channel Chief at, Zeno, um, at SASMAX. He was the formal Channel Chief at Zeno Infotech. He recruited, onboarded, and activated over 5,000 resellers. I'm having trouble talking today. He co-founded co Replibit, and he served in our U.S. Army. So thanks for serving, Clint, and welcome to uh, the show today. Well, thank you very much, Laura, and it's easy for Laura to still remember me at Zenith Infotech. She was an MSP partner uh, of Zenith Infotech at the time until she went on to iHeartRadio and writing some books. And so thank you very much, Laura. We're very happy to have you here as well. So, but let's get started. I mean, uh, thanks for everyone for, for coming today. Uh, we will move along pretty quickly, so don't forget to put your questions in. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the overall opportunity for SAS. I think uh, everyone here is, understands that piece. But when you look at Forrester and Gartner and IDC, you can really see uh, the growth over the next five years, five you know, even into 10 years from now, of software as a service, cloud platforms, uh, and where the market is moving. So there's some tremendous growth uh, coming and is, is here today. Uh, we have to remember, too, that uh, only about 23% or so or less of SaaS products are actually sold through a channel. And so there's a lot of growth there. A lot of SaaS vendors are looking towards channels now that they're starting to grow their businesses and uh, are turning to people like SASMAX to help take them to market. And uh, we're very happy to be in, in that position and working with SaaS today and helping both the vendors and the uh, solution providers uh, come together. Let's go to the next slide. So the, the SAS Max, why SAS formula? So there's there's many things that we do as an organization that we bring to bear to help our solution providers find the, the correct SAS for your business and the right tools that you need to run your business when it comes to comes to cloud and, and software to service offerings. Laura had mentioned a bit earlier the uh, channel e-commerce platform that is going to be available very very soon it, it'll be out in about uh, 60 days we'll have our first versions out we're going to be showing it off and what it looks like look the feel the options the features that you will be having coming up here in September uh, towards the end of September we'll be doing <clears throat> some of the webinars on that but we're also looking for folks who want to jump in about mid-September and get the store and give us some feedback of what you need there so really 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 excited this it's really the fruition of the company over the last several years to get to this point where we have a, a, a commerce platform we have and it's really a white labeled store for each 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 of our resellers each of our solution providers and partner optimizer is a tool that we use to make sure that the people that we're matching with our vendors or, or matching to you and, and how we put you in front of the right vendors who have the right business model, they're going after the right clients, the right verticals, so you're not wasting your time vetting 20 or 30 different CRMs or other software out there whenever you go in and do a Google search and you come up with you know 5,000 different products, which one do you, which one's good for your clients, which one's good for your business model, and which ones can you take to market? Uh, and it's, it's that way with cybersecurity, any type of product that's out there today. <clears throat> so these are some of the tools that we utilize. 
Uh, next. So again, stop wasting time and you know, <clears throat> finding and vetting the vendors. There's so many of them out there. Which ones are best for you? You know, Sazmax uh, as a company, one of the things that we do is we only bring vendors into our marketplace or into our platform that we've actually vetted. We spend a lot of time choosing the right partners to come to market with. We make sure that they have, you know, they're channel friendly. They have a good track record, so they're not they're they're a well established company. They have good margins for you to make. They know how to work with you. They've got a reseller portal where you can go up and find a marketing cloud or get to market much faster. They have good enablement programs where they're able to help you, especially out the gate that first three months, that first six months, helping you generate revenue, helping you get clients into the door, whether it's different webinars or meetings or or what have you. We make sure to have good enablement uh, programs. If they don't, we take them through our channel consulting. If they're really serious about the about the channel and working with uh, folks like yourselves, we walk them through a, a three month process and to to get them ready to talk to you, ready to enable you, ready to be channel friendly, and then help them get to market. We also do uh, the channel manager certification. So we will teach the vendors and, and certify them. We'll teach their staff on the right ways of working with a channel and how to view the channel. So when you come to SASMAX, you can really have confidence <clears throat> when you start talking to a vendor there uh, that, we, that we bring to you and we have in our marketplace that they have a channel program, they're a solid company, and they're really looking forward to working with you. So it's just a great way of cutting down your R&D costs. We, we really become part of your R&D arm. Next. Our concierge service. So we're always out there looking to how do we help our solution providers make money. We make money when you do. We don't we don't charge our solution providers anything for being part of our platform and part of the community, as part of our reseller community. Uh, we have a partner success team. Some of them are on here today uh, as well, listening in, which is you, you give them a call, they're gonna try and find you the right product. So you know, you'll be assigned a partner success manager. We call them our SaaS strategists, people that have really good experience in technology and especially in and around cloud and, and SaaS. So you talk to your success team manager, your partner success manager, he'll help give them a list of what you're looking for. Hey, I need I need a product that does this, 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 and this, and and we'll go out and we'll try and help you find it. So we'll find those products, whether or not they're they're in our platform, we're gonna we're gonna give you some suggestions there. But we're gonna make sure that they're channel friendly, ready for you to go. Next. So you decide who you want to meet. So we do our we do our matchmaking, and how we're how we do that today is it's kind of like we we set you down at the table and, and introduce you to your your next uh, vendor. So what we do is we look at and we understand your business model. So when you first join, we ask you a bunch of questions. Then our channel strategist will set up a meeting with you. They'll they'll sit down and they'll talk with you about you know what's your business model, what verticals you do you have, what industries do you, are are you working through, what types of products are you selling today, what's your domain knowledge, you know what is it that you want to do over the next three, six, twelve months, eighteen months of your business, and what types of products and services are you really focused on, and we and we generally set then we set up an appointment. So uh, in most in most cases we're setting up appointments, not just throwing you out there and introducing you to. The different vendors we want we want to talk to you first make sure that you're interested with a in, a, in what a particular vendor brings to the plate uh, let you have, know a little bit more about them before any type of meetings are set up and then we set that meeting up with you so we're really working towards you know helping you with that r d arm and that whole piece and in, in, in finding those right products with you putting you in front of the right people so that you can get the market faster and, and get to generating revenue faster and this is one of the things that you know our vendors if you know if you look at Gizmo Global and Jamie Lynn, who works with us, you know she really likes us because we are we are bringing her in front of different products that match her business model, different vendors that match her business model. They're good, channel friendly. They know how to work with her to help grow the business, and we also put her in front of products that she wouldn't have found on her own. Uh, so, uh, you know, a lot of our partners like that. We do have a lot of products that may have never you may never have heard of, which are actually very solid products that you should be paying attention to. Next slide. Okay, stacks and layers. Uh, so if you're really looking to boost your income and and getting into SaaS or has or you know cloud types of businesses, the where I find that most solution providers are most successful is when they actually you know bundle stack or layer, whichever term you prefer, 
but you're you're choosing two, three, four, five different different SaaS applications or a mixture of cloud uh, applications. So they have you you bring them together, you wrap your services around them, and you do get to help the the client install and manage them. You're managing the vendor relationships, so you're getting a really tight relationship with them. But you're providing them three or four or five different products at one time. And again, these companies that are being very successful are wrapping their services into it to actually increase their overall revenue and keep uh, a hold of the vendor or, or the, the client, I'm sorry. So whichever way you go, whether it's a retail stack or a business communication, this is you know, some ideas of some different uh, bundles and stacks that our solution providers have put together and we, and we help them do that. We, If you're not doing bundling and stacking today, our, our channel strategists are, really good and, and, and proficient with the products that we have in, in the market today and can help you come up with <coughs> several different products which you can stack together and let you know what types of services that other partners that are being successful doing the same thing are doing today. So don't forget to leverage your, your channel strategy, your partner success manager, very key that you talk with them. Next. So the channel e-commerce platform, it's, it's a, basically what you get is it's a full quote to cash system where you can choose the different apps and products uh, that you want to be representing out of the SASMAX mothership of, of products out of our catalog. And you can then become members of, of those particular uh, uh, channel programs. We, we Underneath, we have the whole billing system underneath, so it'll track your licenses, your commissions. It's, we bring it all, all together. What we've seen in the channel in the past has a lot of channel members that we've talked to, especially smaller ones and even the larger ones, you know, once they get to selling five, six, seven, eight, ten different applications, SaaS applications out there, it's hard for them to track who owes them what money, how much licensing is there, has people increased license, decreased licensing. So we're bringing that all into one platform that you can come in, look up your dashboard, and get a solid understanding of what products you're selling, which ones are selling best, how many licenses you have out of each, who owes you money, who might you have to pay if it's a wholesale or a white label type of model uh, from those. Um, and again, you choose the, the solutions you want from from our mothership, and you can create your own bundles too. So not only can you take and launch your own branded web store and sell just the product itself and present that product after maybe it's something like a go to meeting or something that's great for your clients, but you're not going to put a lot of effort into it. But you'll drive them to your web store and and grab some sales off of that as well, providing more value to your client. So that they're getting more from you and not getting those types of applications either direct or uh, getting it from your from someone who turns out to be one of your competitors out there. So it's also good about protecting your relationships with your clients and, and freezing out other people that would want to come in and uh, sell them one thing and then start getting into their other pieces. So it's it's great for that. But then you can say, hey, here's here's four different SaaS apps or, or, or some cloud applications that I want to take to market, but I want to wrap my services around them. I want to sell them all at once. So then you can create your own bundle. You can create your own stack right within our system. Uh, post that to your web store and start selling. And then also handling all the deal registrations too. So when deal registrations are, are available and lead registrations, uh, the whole quoting system's involved. So you can quote your clients right from the system. You can turn those into invoices and orders as well as you know, if, if you need the vendor needs to be involved in some type of quote or uh, to the client, then you can submit it to the vendor and the vendor will help you get that all completed so you can submit it to the client. So it's just a, a, a total e-commerce package. It's, it's, it's really different than what we've seen out there from anybody else. Uh, and it's, it's about 60, less than 60 days, 60 days out. So make sure you're talking to us about that too so we can, we can get you up and on uh, the, the original stores coming out here in September. <clears throat> Next. Okay, the other thing that, <coughs> that we bring to, uh, to you and it has a lot of great value and our, our partners find great value in it is our Crossing the SASM series. So we do partner perspective webinars which are peer driven uh, from folks that are out there selling lots of SaaS cloud applications. They've been very successful at it. They're in the trenches every day out there fighting and, and, and being very successful at it. So we typically bring one or two partners on and we talk about different uh, aspects of their business. You know, what types of sales people are using, what type of technicians they need, how are they doing sales and marketing, how do they arrange their internal staffs and support people to, to support what's going on out there? How do they choose vendors? What, what are some of the better vendors out there? And how do they, what's their selection criteria when they're looking for vendors? Uh, we also do industry and expert per, uh, 
uh, perspective webinars where we have people come in from organizations like CompTIA or uh, other analyst type areas like Forrester, Gartner, and uh, you know, talk about where the industry going, where, where, what's next, what's hot, what's not, where, where should you be putting your energy into. Uh, then we have some great webinars coming up, which you really, you're really going to want to see uh, from different business leaders and the marketplace. Like on September 13th, we have Kendra Lee, which we're really happy to have her. She, she's really big in the industry and helping companies understand how to hire great sales reps and get results. Always working with the channel a lot. Uh, she does. So this one's four keys to hire great sales reps and, and get results. So don't forget to uh, uh, join it. Uh, even if you're not, uh, you don't get joined up quite yet uh, to SASMAX from this webinar, uh, don't forget about these ones. And then what's always, always very valuable to, to you out there is how do I continue to drive my company value? You know, so most people, you know, not everyone, but most people are always looking at, you know, what is my retirement plan? What is my out? You know, I'm growing this company. What's the value of my company? Uh, and, and how do I build more value in it? So John Warlow on Wirlow on <coughs> October 18th, we'll be talking about eight things that drive company value. So don't miss that. Uh, we also have our blog where we get, you know, we post a lot of great information up on our blog, uh, different white papers, and, and uh, you can go up and see past partner perspectives, industry expert webinars, the, the business leader type of webinars. We have those up there as well. You don't want to forget either about our snapshot webinars, which yes, they're they're vendor driven, but it's all about the three three or so things that you really care about when you're first interviewing a vendor. You know, what is my target market? What is the target market that the vendors you know really made their product for? You know, what is that business model? Why are clients buying? What problems are they and what problems are they solving? Next thing is about how do you make money? I mean, you're in it for money. You know, it, maybe on some SaaS apps you don't make a ton of money from the licensing. But it's, it's a great add-on. It's a great piece to put in your stack that the client's really going to uh, enjoy the functionality, but you can also wrap a lot of services around it. So we make sure that the vendors talk about, you know, how do you make money? Not just from what you make from, their, from selling their product or repping their product, but also how is it that you can drive additional revenue through services and, and different other, other companion products that you can sell along with it or a bundle or stack. Also, they're going to talk about how they're going to support you. You know, how are they going to make you successful? What does their onboarding process look like? What the, what is the enablement that they're going to take you through? What what types of webinars will they do for you? Will they jump on you and do a, a joint joint demos at first and and teach your salespeople how to do demos and and give you the sample emails that you can rewrite and send out to your client base, your current client base, or to prospects. You know, what are they seeing as being successful out there from other partners to help drive revenue? So you don't want to forget those. And we, and we have a lot of the, we have a lot of those snapshots up on, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we have a lot of those webinars up on our YSAS uh, and YSAS.com. So go take a, go have a look at some of those. Uh, so you can see a lot of the value that we, that we bring on those pieces. Next. So adding SaaS, you know, everyone wants to, you know, everyone's really looking at this particular marketplace and how do you add SaaS to your line card from SaaS Max? You know, it's, it, we're just a one-stop friendly channel place for you to do business. You know, we're, we're here to help you increase your speed to market, you know, that time to revenue. At what point do you start looking at a vendor? At what point do you start actually marketing and selling and getting getting actual revenue in. We're looking at collapsing that time by being your R&D uh, arm. You know, let us know what you're looking for. Let's know the specifics and we'll do everything that we can to find you the right app so that you can get the market and not have to spend your time spinning your wheels, looking at 20, 10, 15, 20 vendors, narrowing that down to six or seven or five or three, and then trying to do demos of everything to finally make a decision. Uh, we're here to help you with that time and to try and shorten that time as much as we can. And of course, the web, the, the, the web stores driving more. It's here to simplify your revenue capture. You know, we'll be, we'll be doing some SEO or if you, if you want on your web store, you can allow the vendor to post, uh, provide you their meta tags that they're using to make it uh, easier for SEO pickups. You know, we're looking in the future uh, releases as well as, at, you know, how do we uh, add blogs to that so you can allow the vendor, if you want to, allow the vendor to post up some white papers or other type of information to drive your SEO and to drive clients to your to your uh, web store. Uh, and they are white labeled. They they are there to look at look like your site. We give you a lot of tools within the system to to modify the look and the feel. 
And of course, it's always great hearing from your peers, like with our partner perspectives. It's great to hear from industry experts about how to increase the value of your company, uh, whether it's to sell or to increase the value in the eyes of the client, you know, managing salespeople, plus the, the statistics are out today. What's hot? What's not? What's going to make your company successful? And what are people buying today? Next. So just uh, you know, gotta go through a little bit of how much money can you make. You know, you look at a lot. Of, you know, it all depends on the types of SaaS that you're selling, but a, there's a lot of SaaS out there that's that's fantastic. It has good price points for you to take to market. But here's a little chart just looking at uh, some different average sales. But as as you start to stack and see why people stack and bundle apps, you can see why very very quickly. You know, going from one app to five apps. That's a big difference in what you're going to make over three years if it's just commissions. I'm not even talking about, you know, what you might charge for integrating with other line of business applications, what you might charge for ongoing support, what you might charge uh, as setup fees, whatever it is, whatever else other services you may help desk that you may be doing uh, that you may do on that as well as 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 managing the vendor for the client. These are strict commissions or uh, license fees or if it's a, a white labeled model. Or, or a wholesale model where you're making your price to the client. Uh, you can see once you start getting up to, to 10 apps, and it, it really starts. It really starts to to bring in some significant numbers that can add to your company, just just from working with the SaaS vendor himself, not just. And then, and then you start adding your service, start adding pieces, and then you compound that very very quickly. It's really it, it really becomes a no brainer. Next. So these are uh, some of the people on our partner success team. Of course, there's uh, my lovely face there in the center. Um, and then we have Alan Hoke, uh, who I know is on the webinar. I believe Brigant is as well. They're both uh, channel strategists part, you know, and, and work uh, with partners every day. We all three of us work with partners every day, helping them find applications, helping them understand how to bundle, making appointments with them when they're, when they're wanting to talk to a particular vendor. We can make the appointments and get that all set up and just make sure everything runs smoothly. So don't forget to, as, as you engage with us to really engage with your, your partner success manager. Next, please. So how do you get started? It's, it's real, real simple. Um, you can always write, uh, write me an email, uh, CC Gatewood, uh, it's gonna be on the next slide, and I can introduce you to one of our partner success managers, but you can easily go to sasmax.com, go to the right-hand corner, and register as a reseller. There's a form to submit, just one thing, remember, a username cannot be an email address, uh, so you can't use your email as a username. And then our partner success team will be in touch, get you approved, and away you go from there. So it's a very, very simple uh, process on that. Do a lot, five do a lot five to 10 minutes to do it. Uh, as you're filling out your form, we do wanna know what verticals you're selling into, what types of products you're selling, uh, you know, just some information about you so we can get a, get a good feel of who you are and what you're doing. Next. So don't leave money on the table. Become a, a SASMAX reseller today. Join up with us. And uh, Laura, I think we have some questions. <clears throat> Must be off mute to talk. <laughs> we certainly do. Um, <laughs> Greg wants to know who owns the billing relationship in the white label, SASMAX or the reseller? That would be the reseller. So we, we're not uh, taking anything away from the reseller there. You, the model remains the same with the vendors uh, from that standpoint. So it's if, if you're doing a white label with one of the SaaS vendors, it's going to be your brand, your product that you're taking to market. Uh, and as you know, when you look at the SaaS world, there's a lot of different uh, models out there. Some of them might be an affiliate where you just tag your tag up their logo there attached to their web store and, and you make some commission every time someone clicks on it and buys. Uh, then there's the different referral models. What we didn't want to do as a company was to dictate the business model on the on the reseller or on the vendor. We wanted to be able to have a platform, and the reason why it's taking us so long to build that platform <clears throat> is because we wanted to be able to support the affiliate models, support the different types of referral models that are out there, the wholesale model and the white label models that you find out there. Uh, and, and you know, surprisingly to myself, from working with the channel over the last 15 years, and having you know recruited and enabled so many of them, uh, I'm, I'm, it's it's interesting that a lot of partners aren't so concerned about who's billing the client necessarily in 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 many cases uh, because they're wrapping them into a package and the and the value that you bring to the channel is the same it's always been the ability to bring them a packaged solution 
to, to solve their business issues while integrating with it and supporting it with their other line of business applications. So remember, even if, even if you are working with a vendor that's really good, but they want to build a client and pay you, it's not always necessarily a bad thing. You know, sometimes that takes off your AR, but if you're wrapping it into a package and, and you're the value to the client, it, you know, you, ha you just have to look at those as well. But if it's white labeled, it is your brand. You own, you own the billing. And in many of the wholesale cases, you also own the billing. So in a wholesale might be something where you're just buying a product and wrapping into your services. The end user doesn't care uh, about what the product is. I mean, I don't even know what it is. So you might be in an MSP type of model uh, from that standpoint. So uh, again, you own the billing relationship to the client in most uh, all the wholesale type models. The beauty of a lot of the vendors that we work with is they have special offerings just for SASMAX resellers, right, Clint? They put special pro products together, special pricing together, and even special support together just for SASMAX resellers. They do. That, that's absolutely true. And, and we work with them as we're bringing them on to give, you know, additional incentives, especially for the first one, two, three sales. We try and work with them all to, to provide some additional margin. And, and also we work with them very hard. Uh, to to make sure that they understand that they need to they sh they should be providing some leads to their channel as well if they if they're moving their company towards that direction and then, you know it's it's always good to help feed your channel a little bit and help them get started or at least bring them on so a couple of sales calls with them so we're always looking at how can we help uh, help you get more enabled from the different vendors that we bring on and also compensated which is a perfect lead in to the, the next question, which was around the bundles and the stacking. How do we get help at determining which apps might fit best with our client base? Right. So when you when you look at this when you look at the SaaS marketplace, way more I think than the box software market. Uh, you know, a decade ago, five years ago. A lot of SaaS uh, vendors have developed their products specifically for a, a client base, usually around a vertical, sometimes around a business process uh, from that standpoint. So as you're looking at the different verticals you're serving, servicing, it's great to have that conversation with your partner success manager. We also have helped our partners select the right bundles and stacks of applications based on language. We do have partners in over 80, so almost 90 countries now. Uh, that we help support and language uh, can be a big barrier, right? So we also track what vendors sell in different languages so that we can help build bundles for those types of partners, whether they're in South America, Africa, or Australia, well, Australia's English as well, but uh, say India or <clears throat> those types of locations to make sure that it can also, their bundles can be stacked by, you know, language support. Um, I think one interesting thing to think about too, that you may want to walk away here thinking about is that, I find with SaaS, it's not always necessarily a vertical in the old sense, where it's a vertical of healthcare or legal. Uh, although many of them are that way, I see a lot of partners out there that are building a a stacker or a bundle of applications together around a certain business process. Uh, process. For instance, if you look at a lot of the what I've seen in a lot of the CRM integrators <coughs> is they're really not CRM integrators. They're much more sales and marketing companies. They're, they're still selling their CRMs. They're still installing them. They're still integrating them in the line of business applications, but they're also bringing different SEO skills to play or, or softwares to play. They're bringing in marketing apps. They're bringing in things like uh, SurveyMonkey and, and different pieces as well. So they're really still selling a stack of applications uh, under, you know, the, the CRM underneath it that will not only support how the client's tracking their client base and their prospects and their funnels, but also in helping them increase their uptake and, their, and, and help them with their sales and marketing. So that's just one case, but you can build, you know, a, a stack of apps around a business process as well. That's a great clarification. I love that. I never thought of that before. <laughs> <laughs> so we, it's, you know, it's fun. I, I love doing these because I learned so much myself. Being a former MSP, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes so much yeah, sense. That makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, it's something I learned by working here as well. I, I never really thought about it, but uh, it's not something unique I came up with. I, I can't claim claim that to my fame, but uh, <laughs> so. it makes so much sense. That's a great end of our webinar today. So. Please remember, everybody, don't leave money on the table. Become a SASMAX reseller today. Let us answer your questions. 
we, we find that after these webinars, getting a one-on-one -on -one with um, one of our partner success team, whether it is Clint or Alan or Brigant, um, can really clarify a lot of questions. Let us take you through the site. Let us show you what's going on. Just reach out to, to sales at sasmax.com or reseller or straight out to Clint. Um, we're here to support you because the resellers are the, the lifeblood of what we do, and, and we love you guys. So thanks so much for being here with us today, and hope everybody has a great day. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.